Toronto gets real hot in the summer, which makes it the perfect time to cool down with a drink on a nice patio. Toronto is a city obsessed with patios in the summer, probably because our summers are so short and we want to enjoy it. I'm going to show you in today's video some of the best outdoor patios in Toronto. Drake Sky Yard is a rooftop patio that overlooks Queen Street West, a space to escape, people watch, and have a drink and bask in the sun one of Toronto's highest rated patios for many years. They have an amazing selection of drinks and a happy hour from three to six featuring drinks for $5. I just missed it, but I managed to grab a nice pitcher of white wine sangria. Beating sun on top of me, refreshing drink. The sangria is a bit unique in that I've never seen watermelon used in a white wine sangria. But uh, I have to say it goes really well. The sangria is unique as it uses watermelons that soak up the wine easily, making it dangerously delicious on a hot sunny day. Broadview Hotel has one of the busiest patios throughout the year. The hotel has been through massive change in recent years, going from a seedy strip club into a well-known hub in the city, attracting many visitors, including travelers, looking for a room while traveling. We are here at Broadview Hotel at the corner of Broadview and Queen. This place is like an historic landmark in Toronto. It used to be a strip club actually called Jilly's and it's been around for 20 plus years until it was converted into a more higher end place in the city. Kind of gentrifying the area, I guess you could call it. Um, this is the eastbound Jillies. Uh, I got all their draft here on the rooftop patio is $9 plus tax, so keep that in mind. It is not cheap, but the view is swell. It's a view, but there is actually another patio on the other side, and there's a second floor patio as well. And those two patios actually have a lot better views. This one right now, it kind of overfaces a parking lot, so it's not the greatest. So after this is done, I'm going to go meet my sister and my niece, and we're gonna have some guacamole chips and beer on another patio close by, just down the street. Barrio Cervecia is one of the go-to patio destinations in Lesleyville. The patio is inspired with Mexican decor, comfy seating, and an outdoor bar that features an array of drinks ready to cool you down on a hot summer day. A perfect spot to even bring your kids. Should we order some guacamole for you? Yeah! Just one. I should get that beer? Uh-huh. All right, well, I'm gonna have to order that beer. We are at Barrio Cervecia in Leslieville right now. It's on Queen Street East. Yeah, you can just put that right down. All right, sweet. And we just got our guacamole right now, so Madeline is very happy. Oh. Mm. I got their house beer, it's called the Barrio Brew, so it's $7, which is pretty standard, I think, for a pint nowadays. Um, she suggests it. I like her chip recommendation better than the beer, though. Good call on the guac. You can feed me, too, yeah. Put it in my, yeah. Do you want me to grab that? I know, I don't lie. <laughs> It's a lot, I'm trying to speak. Okay. Thank you, Marilyn. No, just thank you. You gotta stop beating me. At least let me wash it out. <laughs> let me wash it with beer first. Oh my god, you're spilling on me. I have three other places to go to. Cheers. Take a sip. The 
greater good is near Dufferin Station, tucked underneath a bridge just north of DuPont. Patio that brings the essence of nature within the confines of a busy city. Great selection of beer, games, and pizza. The Greater Good uses North of Brooklyn Pizza, a pizza I've featured in our 6 in the 6 pizza video. A great slice to have with their abundance of craft beers, and if that doesn't work for you, then maybe a nice game on their second floor arcade. Alcatrin Distilleria brings a unique atmosphere into the distillery district with chandeliers, fire pits, beautiful decor that pair nicely with a drink. This place has been consistently rated one of Toronto's best patios. So busy that when you come here to get a seat on the patio, you're most likely gonna be waiting in a holding cell where they'll leave you there for a bit and then they'll come out and call your name. And if you're lucky enough, you'll get in here sooner rather than later. And we didn't order that. No? No. I that. So I've been drinking beer all day and I just want to switch it up a bit so I got a nice margarita. It's going to complement this nice hot day. I needed something sweet to lift my spirits and I uh, think I made a good choice right now. Yeah, that was amazing. This is a really nice spot. You will not be disappointed. most well-known patios, a staple in the Yorkville community, right in the center of the city, making it a great spot to head to with friends after a long, hard day of work. The pilot is located in a very heavily trafficked area in Toronto. Uh, if you're working downtown, this is one of the most accessible spots to go if you want a nice rooftop patio with a great view, which unfortunately, due to the construction, is probably going to be a condo building very soon. But for now, we have a nice skyline of the city. It's always packed. It's always busy here. If you can actually see right now, this is at 6.30 and it's packed to the brim and it usually stays busy all the way up until time of close. So if you're downtown, Pilot, one of the best places to go in the city and if it's the summer right now, you might as well come and enjoy it. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, leave a comment about where your favorite patios are in the city, and which 6 in the 6 you'd like to see next. And it would really help us out if you subscribed as well. Until next time.